The following program is brought to you by the Zero DB Movie Podcast Feed. Welcome back to the solo set here on the Zero DB podcast feed. We are now doing a Netflix series called Altered Carbon, and we are on episode 8, which is called Clash by Night. Let's jump right in. So, the sum up is, his world rocked. Kovacs requests a dipper to help him sew up the Bancroft case quickly. Ortega races to identify the mystery woman from Fight Drill. That's the headline, right? So... OG Kovacs flashback starts with the day. You know, it's like the, the, the bombing, the, the dust falling, all that crazy stuff. Um, Ray killed everyone. Why? Why did Ray kill everyone, right? I was, I was trying to save our lives. That's Ray's quote for why she killed everyone. So, cuckoo or not, right? Um... So now they're quarreling. Like, Kovacs is totally like, you know, I can't believe you did this. You killed everyone. What's your problem? You're nuts. She's like, what do you mean I'm nuts? You're nuts. I did this for you. You're going in deep with these people. You're a fool. We only need each other. That's all we need. Crazy, right? Um, so Ray was, okay, so when Kovacs was at the party, um, the majority of people he spoke with, Clarissa. The, the, the art dealer that got him, um, the little girl, um, mo- like a lot of different people. It was her. It was her in other sleeves, totally like keeping an eye on him or spying on him or creeping on him or manipulating him. I don't know, but it was all her. So, dude, she is way more powerful than I thought. Um, so she basically, she lays out the plan uh, she laid out the plan that she did up until now, which was like, you know, her gaining power and, uh, making enough money to get new sleeves and, uh, just amassing what seems to be this like way like underworld fortune, right? Where she's like this, like, I guess it took her 250 years to become, um, she's a meth, right? She's the meth. So she basically, it's like, it's his ideals versus her dreams. She did all this for them to be together and for them to be happy. His ideals are like, you're nuts. You killed everyone I loved. This is crazy. So there's lots of drama, right? Um, He, like Kovacs, obviously we've seen throughout this whole series, he's a pretty unstable guy. So basically, like, he basically gets a a sword up to her throat. He's like, why wouldn't I just kill you right now? And basically she's like, just kill me, get it over with. I'll pop into my new sleeve and now we can move on. Are you happy? She's crazy. So Ortega confronts the lawyer. Um, the lawyer threatens her indirectly. You know, she's kind of like, yo, step off. I got more power than you. So Ortega heads back to the cop shop and breaks down. Like, she's basically, like, going to lose her job now because of the whole fight drone stuff and, like, um, basically what she did to Tanaka. I don't know, cause she's crying and, like, everyone's looking at her. She's like, what the F are you looking at? So... Tanaka confronts Ortega and, like, basically, he puts her on leave. She's like, what am I, fired? He's like, no, you're on paid leave until further notice. I can't protect you anymore. So she's like, what? What do you mean you can't protect me anymore? Like, how deep are we into this or how deep are you into this, right? So now we go back to bro and sis. Um, Kovac is still, like, in shock. He still can't believe this elaborate plan and everything that Ray has done up until now. He's still trying to figure it out. Um, he doesn't know if he wants to forgive her. She's asking for forgiveness. She wants to start over. Clean slate. Let's like, you know, <laughs> join me and we'll rule the galaxy, right? Um, so basically she's like, now she gets a little dark. Because she's like, look, close the case with Bancroft. Uh, I don't care how you do it. 
um, and let's get out of here, or I will kill all your friends. Because the mistake you made was all those people that you got to help you, they're your friends, and now you got to kill them. So he's like, you know, what if I say no? She's like, actually, that's what it was. Like, what if I say no? And she's like, I'll kill all your friends. So then the ghost walker walks in and like, he finds out that he's working for her. The ghost walker, uh, you know, the Fu Manchu guy is like her, her henchman. What a henchman. Um, the Y clinic or the way clinic belongs to her. Boom. More things, right? Um, she's like king, right? Queen, whatever. Um, she basically threatens all of his peeps and like, says, you got to produce a killer soon or they're all done for. And she, you, we saw what she can do, right? Pulling the strings from all over the place. Ortega and Mickey argue about his job. Mickey's like the, the computer guy who's been putting the tracking and tracking for her on the side, right? Um, basically, she needs more favors. She's basically, you know, on leave. He's like, look, this is the last favor. And, I, and if you get fired, I don't know you. So Kovacs and the Ghost Walker, now they have a nice elevator ride. And, like, you know, Ghost Walker's talking about gods and Mets. And, like, uh, you know, Kovacs is like, look, you're just a freaking, you know, right-hand man. You know, slow your roll. And the guy's, like, calling Kovacs the brother. He's like, you're the brother of a living god. And, like, Kovacs is like, what? What, what am I missing here? So now Kovacs is back on the grid. All right? Ortega is off. The, the guy, Mickey, basically finds Ortega, I mean, uh, Kovacs. So, so now she's off looking for him because of what happened to all this stuff, right? She hasn't seen him since Fight Room. So they spin up Elliot and Lizzie's mom as a dipper. Um, except they couldn't get the right body, so they spun her, they spun her up as a man. Um, now, I don't even know what a dipper is until this all starts happening. And basically, a dipper is... Uh, is basically someone who's really good at hacking and they dip you in, I guess, you know, to, uh, to do stuff, which we're going to find out. So Ortega finds Kovach and like Kovach can't have Ortega around. He's got the ghost walker and, uh, she can't know what's going on. So now he's got to like totally pull the whole, like, I don't love you. You're a piece of crap. Get out of my face kind of thing until she's like, I hate you. Right. And like, she walks, so it runs off. And that's what, what that's exactly what he wanted. So now Poe and Elliot are back at the Raven, and they're watching Lizzie on, like, the TV thing, and, like, they're watching her train and knife throwing. So, uh, you know, Elliot's a little pissed about that because he's like, well, how is this going to teach my daughter anything? And he's like, you know, he's going to teach her empowerment and how to be strong and all that stuff, which is really cool. Kovach brings back Ava to Elliot, and he's completely freaked out because he's like, what? My wife is back, and, like, you know, it's totally emotional. It's really good because it's a man playing a woman. Um, so, you know, I got to say, really good acting on these guys that have to play these other people, which is kind of cool. Very emotional reunion. Um, it's very it's very nice. It's a family reunion type thing. Um, Elliot brings Lizzie's parents to her VR world to see Lizzie, and they're kind of not spying on her, but they're looking from afar because she's not supposed to be disturbed. Um... So they're watching her and like, you know, the regret and the remorse comes over them because they're watching her train and become this like, what looks like a killer, a trained killer, you know, and they're like, is this the right thing, you know? So like Ava just walks out and confronts Lizzie and like, they're like, wow, is Lizzie going to freak out because like this man and like Lizzie immediately sees that it's mom. So like, that's a whole nother emotional confrontation. Um, they have this mother daughter reunion and then dad walks out. Um, Kovach is watching and like, it's a very like family thing. You can kind of see, I thought I could see Kovach, you know, like kind of seeing this, he's, he's got feelings, right? So now mom, Ava confronts Kovach about Lizzie. She's kind of pissed. She's like, what are we doing to her? You know? And you know, he basically tells everyone that like, you know, this is for her own good. Um, and besides I need you, I need everyone here as my team. I need to close the case. You're going to be my dipper, right? So apparently Ava is a great hacker, and that's why Kovach brought her here. Uh, that's what a dipper is, a hacker, everything to close the case, right? So Elliot and Ava are now working together, um, and all that was left was to see Bancroft 
was to sell Bancroft on the idea. So Elliot and Ava now, like you see them with the computers and stuff, and they're going to start hacking and doing stuff. And now they got to just basically sell Bancroft on this idea, right, of, of the killer. So Kovacs shows up to Bancroft's, and of course Miriam is there. And that's when Miriam proposes the Eden thing to him, like, you know, hey, you can have a, you know, a bunch of me with you and you will be great. Um, Kovac is constantly rolling his eyes on that one. So now we see Clarissa. Clarissa is there. Uh, obviously, we know it's Ray, right? Ray is in Clarissa's uh, clothing, kind of skin. So she's there with everyone and they're doing the whole whodunit thing now. Because now it's going to be the real whodunit, right? Um, so. Basically, Kovacs is going to frame someone now with the help of Elliot and Ava. Um, and who does he frame, or who do they frame? They frame Prescott. Yes. The lawyer. Um, what? Yes. Yes. Um, Prescott, like all of us, uh, is freaking out, and it's all falling apart for Prescott. Um, you know, you kind of feel bad for her, because like you're just kind of like, oh, wow, like she's done a lot of effed up things, but like... I guess now she's paying her dues, right? So she's going down. She's going down like the Titanic. Um, Bancroft is kind of like, you know, I'm not going to fire you. I'm going to ruin you. I'm going to make sure you're grounded and you never come up. So she's distraught. She's totally distraught. They get her out of there kicking and streaming. Uh, Tanaka, you know, everyone's there. The cops, the whole thing, right? So -da, that's what it was. Mystery solved. Um, we still don't know what the hell happened, but, um, so now at the end, like Clarissa and Kovach have a word, which is Ray. Um, she was kind of like, oh, wow. You know, I was impressed with what you did. And then like, you know, he's off drifting by himself and like Quill comes back to him and they talk about like the end and like, while seeing Ortega wandering around and like, she totally knows something is up. Um, she just knows it's not him, that what he did. Right. So Ortega starts investigating who the ghost walker is and who's Ray is. She's got to find out who Ray is. That's her thing. Um, so she has to go to Psychosec um, and infiltrate it. So Kovach is, uh, is, he's lingering at Bancroft's and he checked out, you know, you're hearing things and the things that Bancroft said. And like, basically he knows that the telescope was pointing. He basically computes the telescope to point at the last place he was looking at the night that he blew his stack out. So now Kovacs is really putting it together in his head while you hear the voices. Um, everything is coming together for Kovacs, and we think that he knows the truth now. So he's keeping it to himself. Bancroft pardons Kovacs, gives him the pardon. Now Kovacs' job is done. Pardoned. He's done, right? He's good to go. Ortega is at Psychosec with Gus, this guy that she basically like cornered into like getting him into Psychosec. Um, and basically this is the facility where she traced Ray back to, but she doesn't know who Ray is. So Ortega has a psychic psych with Gus and he has access to the room with, which is what looks like a ton of like clones. It's all like in the walls, right? In these tubes. And she sees Ray in one of the clones. She's basically like, you know, there you are, mother effer. So she's like, Gus, call the cops, whatever. Like, and Gus is like, nope. Locks the door, thump, and now, like, she's stuck in there. She's banging. She's like, holy crap, what's going on? How do I get out of here? So Ray wakes up. One of the clones, Ray comes to as one of the clones and smashes through the window completely naked um, and attacks Ortega. So we got a naked uh, Ray with, like, blood and stuff all over and glass on the floor just attacking Ortega now. So... Ortega kills her, right? Um, and then the next clone of Ray busts out. So over and over again, these clones are busting out, and Ortega's basically just shooting them down. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. Ortega's stabbed really bad from the first Ray. So she's really bleeding. Now, there's now we get like, I think it's the last Ray. Um, we got a naked Ray standing there with a freaking ninja sword a samurai sword, uh, against Ortega. Now, Ortega's got her bionic arm, so she's blocking the sword with this, like, total bionic arm. 
There's broken glass everywhere. They're stepping and rolling around in it. They're like really getting into it. Or stay, or Tega still doesn't know, still doesn't know who she is, right? She doesn't even know who she is. She's just fighting this chick, looking to find out who Ray is, who is Ray, basically, um, who this chick is. And she just basically kills all the clones. Boom, all of them done. Finally, she's done. Ortega won. I'm like, hmm, how does this work? So after like a couple whatever minutes or whatnot, she hears like whimpering. Um, and she goes around the corner to this like closet area and she finds like a little girl. And the little girl is kind of like, you know, help me, help me. And Ortega is like surprised. She doesn't know, but that's Ray in one of her clones. That's Ray in one of her clones. And then the episode ends. It's over. That's a good cliffhanger. That's a good cliffhanger. Um, I'm your host, Gabe and Yell, here at the solo set for the Zero DB podcast feed. Um, I'm currently doing a Netflix series, Altered Carbon. Uh, and that was the last episode we just talked about. Uh, tune in for the next one and see what happens. Thanks, guys. Later.